Welcome to my mom's recipe box. Today's video, uh, we have a guest chef, my brother John, out from San Diego, California, who's going to be helping us learn how to make my mom's crab dip today on my mom's recipe box. Um, this video was recorded before the COVID outbreak. It was recorded a little bit before Christmas last December. So please accept my apologies for the... Um, not great hygiene that's going on in the video. Of course, now we're much more aware and we're washing our hands and we're, you know, using hand sanitizers and we're wearing gloves and everything else. But this was shot a few months ago, so enjoy it from uh, the days gone by and hopefully we'll be returning to those very soon. So anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy this special guest cook episode of My Mom's Recipe Box. Take care. So hey, we're gonna make my mom's famous crab dip. Uh, I don't know what happened to her menu card because she told me two decades ago how to make it and I have it in memory. It's very simple, but complex because it takes a lot of love. It takes a little bit of blue crab and we're gonna use Phillips brand since they've been around for a while. We have Philly not the same as the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a Philly cream cheese. <clears throat> and we have Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, which I recommend, they make colors. And there is no substitute to Old Bay. And you'll need at least, depending, this will feed probably 20, 25, 30 people if you have two baguettes. And we'll get through how we slice and dice these. But this is the ingredients to start, and then we'll show you how it all comes together in the crock pot later. The best thing to do is leave this out for a couple hours so it, it softens up, and it has lines that you can cut and use a sharp knife and be careful. You wanna cut the cream cheese in quarters. or eighths, depending how fast you want it done. Dispense the cream cheese in your crock pot. That you kind of preheat it, right? Yeah, hold on that. It's six pounds. It's six pounds, it's a lot. It's not two blocks, it's six pounds. So now that we put the two blocks, the six pounds of cream cheese in, we want to let it slowly melt and we want to prep ourselves with the wooden spoon and put the top on it to keep the heat in. And as soon as it melts, then we will put the rest of the ingredients in. Now that the cream cheese has been in the crock pot for probably half hour or so, we want to make sure it smooths over like some icing on a cake. Then you're ready for the crab meat. Next step is to get your favorite lump crab meat. We're using Phillips. You wanna open that up. We got the Phillips crab meat from Costco, which is economical. How much crab meat are you using? This is a pound of crab meat. So you're using for, two pounds? For three pounds of cream cheese. And it's back thin lump. You wanna throw it in. Yeah, there's not a lot of juice, so. So now we have our crab meat that you wanna mix in. I tend to, this is personal preference, to break it up a little bit and then season the crab with our favorite Old Bay. And this is, this is personal preference. I like a lot of Old Bay, but let's just do a little bit at a time. And I prefer to season the meat, not the cream cheese, because then it'll last longer 
throughout. So I just basically, if you want to come over here and look at it, cover the two pounds of crab meat with Old Bay seasoning. Okay? And that's the only seasoning? So now that we mixed all the crab meat into the cream cheese, thank you, assistant. I tend to throw a little bit more Old Bay just on the top. Personal preference. Now we need to put a little lemon in. Slice the ends off the lemon. Cut them in half. And if you're worried about seeds, you use a strainer. It'll catch all the seeds. I just got done squeezing two full lemons into the top. And at that point, we're gonna go with uh, Worcestershire sauce. And now this is just a feel. I like to just shake a little over the top, circle it around, and then do an oops. That's usually enough. It's kind of just, a little bit for the flavor and then we proceed to mix it all together and you want to mix from the outside in because the heat of a crock pot I don't know if you know usually this comes from the sides and in the middle so you want to take it from the sides to the middle where you feel least resistance you just circle around kind of like a uh, what are the what are those called a whisk yeah kind of like a whisk but the best thing to do is always have the wooden spoon and it takes a lot of tender love and care here outside in and you can tell when it starts loosening up and we're pretty close to being a finished product it just needs to sit and season for probably another 20 minutes to a half an hour Well, thank you for now, and we'll come back to it and let it sit for a little bit, and we'll see if it needs any more of the spices. It's a personal preference. I prefer extra Old Bay. Some people don't like Old Bay. I love Old Bay. So now the crab dip is ready to serve, depending on how many people you're serving. This is the big crock pot if you have a party of 50 or more just leave it here and allow serving plates but if you're gonna go take it mobile which a lot of people do there's a lot of options we use the Kirkland brand baguettes once again frugal and we will just cut them on an angle with the serrated blade And you can do one of you use a serrated blade, cut the baguettes, probably, you know, quarter inch to a half an inch. A lot of people are gonna pick the small or large. There's two ways you can serve it. Leave it here and have the baguettes for them with B&B uh, &B plates. Or you can create a platter where you just dip partial in here, put it in the center, 
and then surround the baguettes. I prefer the little diagonal, just kind of looks, looks a lot better if you do it that way. And then people can just grab it, dip. Mmm, so good. Or you can grab the little mini guy, which comes with a lot of these, and have it plugged in. It all depends on the quantity of people you're serving. For us, we're always serving 40 or 50 people. So we just leave it in the crock pot, make sure you spin it around, and taste test it every now and then, make sure it has enough Old Bay, which this one, eh, to be determined. But in a nutshell, this is easy, yummy, hit of the party and love you mom for showing me how to do this and tell me it, why oh are you on it's okay you can talk um so mom gave you this recipe for a super bowl party right you're talking to me yes i am yeah yes she did <laughs> yes she did so tell me uh you called her said hey mom i'm having a no party. i called her and i said i want to do a crab dip do you have your crab dip recipe and she said yeah you do this you do that you do this and i'm like confused so she didn't text me obviously right <laughs> she walked me through the steps go get this go get that and go get this and i did it the first time and then i just kind of let her will take over me and I kind of added to it. It's just kind of the way she does anything is like she'll just, she's never hungry after anything because she's always tasting it like most chefs do. And I would just taste it. No, nah, it needs more Obey. No, nah, it needs more Worcestershire. So it's kind of a feel thing. You just need the basics. Once you get the basics, then use your creativity and your own personality to make it the way you like it. Cause you're not going to please everybody, especially people that don't like crab, but it'll, it, it was very popular and it's usually the last thing I had to clean cause it was empty on most parties. So what is your favorite recipe of mom's to make? Oh. I think it was a crab soup or the crab dip. I, I, that's tough. You put me on the spot. But now you've taken over the crab soup. So I have to say crab dip is my specialty now. Okay. And Bill's favorite. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for making crab dip for us. And I'm so full. <laughs> so Allison, how is it? It's delicious. <clears throat> Good. And now you're saying that John's never made this for you before. So this is a little bit of a surprise. It is a surprise, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he never made this for me before. Mm -hmm. He's it's... made me um tuna noodle casserole. Uh-huh. He does stuff on the grill for me. Mm -hmm. Now does he ever make any of mom's recipes? Well, no, Mama Sue makes the chocolate cake. Ah, and it's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, it's fabulous. It's actually Mama Sue's husband, Mike. Oh, sorry. The makes it. Okay. She's going to text me the altercation she made to Mom's recipe. Yeah, I want to see that because that was amazing at your wedding. It was so good. Yep.